Hey guys, this is the Tech Reviewer, and I have a review of the TomTom Tom XXL 540S GPS system. This is sort of like an unboxing slash review. I already opened the device, and I've used it a little bit, so... Yeah, there you go, so, in the box, let's get right into the review. You get some literature right here, it's a user guide, something I never read. Let's throw that to the side, and there's a GPS, we'll get into that in a minute. Also get um, a USB cable for your computer, probably, you don't want to hook the GPS to the computer. And you also get a card adapter slash charger. I'm guessing for home use, you charge it through USB. So that's the box. Um, on the box, just a picture of the GPS there. On the back, uh, just some of the features. Preloaded maps of US, Canada, and Mexico. Five point. Uh, the big thing of this GPS, the I'll get into it a little more, but it says a 5 inch touch screen. Biggest, I think, on a GPS ever. I mean, it's a humongous screen. IQ routes. This is probably the, it's, you know, not top of the line, but it's got a lot of the features. Got this for really a great price. I got it for, I think, $90. And, um, yeah, it was $90. So it's a great price, actually. I got it on Amazon. And so let's first, you know, uh, Going to the cables and adapters. Here's just you know just standard right here car charger. So let's open it up. It's just you know it's got the USB right there and the you know into the car the 12 volt I think it's called. And we got the, this cable which is used for like the map share and stuff and you can actually download voices onto your Tom Toms. And, you know, you just got to connect it. This goes in the same place where that goes. Charge it. Do whatever you want with that. So that's really all there is about the cables. Put those aside. We got the GPS. Now, this GPS, I've used it, I think, like, four or five times. So I'm pretty sure I know how to use it. Which, how good it is and everything. And so let's just, you know, first of all, let's get an overview of how the design is. Front, you got... Tom Tom, right there. Camera focuses. There you go. Okay, Tom Tom. Um, really, nothing bold. There's the port for the USB right there. It's a little bit further in that I like, so it's sort of hard to get the USB in. But you know, it's not that hard. It's just harder than it should be, I guess. And yeah, so just you know, pretty basic. Tom Tom expected design, but the only like you can tell. Look how big this screen is. It's um look at that compared to my palm. And I don't have humongous hands, you know, pretty average hands. It's a really big five inch touch screen. And on the back we have the easy port mount, which comes with a lot of the new Tom Toms. They have the easy port, and I really have no idea how to use this. So it's actually really complicated when I first set it up. Now I know how to use it. I mean. When I first used it, I was like, what the hell? I mean, I was worried about the GPS falling off. It's crazy. <laughs> they should have just made this much simpler. But they didn't. And, you know, that's just how they decided to design it. I don't, I don't even know how to take this off right now. Because there's, like, different ways you have to twist it, and then you have to press it in certain places. It's crazy. It's really bad design for the mount. But, um, so there's the mount. And, oh, it works well. Once you actually figure out how to get it on, it works great. But, uh, it's the learning curve should not be anything for a mount. But it was. It was a pretty big learning curve. So here's the power button. Right there. Probably can't see it. It's like black. Just a little circle around it to negate its power. So you have to hold that. It's the screen Tom Tom. Right here. Waiting for a valid GPS signal, you know, so you get into it. My battery's low, but I don't know if you guys can see the screen. There we go, that should be good. So, navigate to find alternative, help me. Help me is a pretty good feature. You got phone for help, where am I, first aid, drive to help, walk to help, other guides, things like that. It has like CPR and stuff in there. 
You have change preferences, use night colors, guided tours, turn off sound, show POI on map, safety preferences, you know, just a bunch of, like, change voice, that's pretty cool. I like doing that. And, um, you know, simple navigate too, you could, you know, say home or a uh, recent destination, you go wherever you like recent destinations so if I put in Walmart oh this is a nice feature ask if you have to arrive at a particular time I always say no you can actually shut that feature off if you want to but now it's planning the route and it's done you should say my instructions well usually it says an instruction right off the bat but I guess I have to get in the car first start it and whatever and that's it you got even itinerary planning um you have just a multitude of features on this GPS. Map corrections, that's another cool thing. If, you, if you're if you going down the road and you see a map correction, it's like the GPS is wrong, you go home, and well, actually I think right on the device you can make it, right here, you can, you know, do one, and then um, go all the way, then go to your computer, hook it up, and just like upload your corrections, so then other people have it, and then you get other people's corrections. You don't have to worry about the corrections being wrong, because TomTom Tom reviews them, make sure they're make sure they're correct, does everything, so you don't have to worry about that. You can add favorites. One good any POI has like millions of POIs in this. So really, just a full feature GPS. I'm not a big GPS guy. I just thought I'd do a review on it. So I don't like if there's anything else that people you people need to know, just leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you guys don't know, I'm giving away an iPod Touch. My old iPod Touch. So just go to that video and follow the steps. You get a free iPod Touch. And that's about it. Oh, wait. Actually, uh, out of five stars, I'd probably give this some... Um, let's go with a... Let's go with a four. Just because the mount is really, really annoying. I don't like the mount at all. And... Yeah, I think that's really it. The melt just ruins the whole device for me, actually. And one other thing that I had problems with is it used to, it always told me to keep right. That really annoyed me. When I was going down a road, I was going to go somewhere, it told me to keep right the whole time. Then it wants me to switch all the way to the far left lane to make a U-turn within seconds. That, that really annoyed me. It could have just told me to keep left. For some reason, it said keep right. So, um... Yeah, that's it. I don't know if that was just that one situation, but that's the thing that happened with me. So that's it. Okay, guys. Thanks. Bye.